Why don't you tell him that night about Ashley's birthday cake? Uh, that was a wild night, huh? Well, we go over to Dizzle's house, the pregame before going out. And we're all sitting around this, at his little bar there playing pool. And then Pee Wee comes out of nowhere. And he's all upset and he's talking about how he forgot that he's supposed to bring a cake to his little sister Ashley's birthday party that day. And I guess they're missing the party by pre-gaming with us, but you got to make choices. And then uh, Dizzle walks up and is like, "Hey, it's like, why don't we just go get a cake? I, mean, I can, I can drive us over to the to the grocery store before we get going. You know, getting drinking heavy. You know, I thought it was a good idea. You know, the mayor walks up and he's like, I got a great recipe for a birthday cake. So hell, we jump in the car, we go over to the grocery store, and on the way over there, I guess you know, since since the mayor knows what he's getting, we just let him go in while we kind of BS in the car and kind of just hang out. And here, here he comes, walking out of the store with like three, four big bags of just God knows what. And we're wondering how much stuff it takes to make one birthday cake. So he jumps in, the mayor's like, hey, I'm all set. Let's get going. And we, we were like, what do you have in the, in the bags? All you got is carrots, eggs, and Budweiser. And he's like, we're making carrot cake. And we're just all floored by this. And then Pee Pee Wee's like, you're a dumbass. He's like, you can't make a carrot cake with just eggs, Budweiser, and carrots. Pee Wee gets a little, a little edgy and he wants to look in the bag some more to realize, yeah, he only did have carrots and eggs and Budweiser. Well, they start in on the mayor again, just making, you know, just poking at him, just saying there's no way they're going to make a cake. Uh, just carrots and eggs. And finally, the mayor gets so pissed off, he's like, you know what? He's like, I'm sick of y'all's attitude. No one calls me a punk. Well, Pee Wee's sitting there digging in the, in the grocery bags right in front of him. The mayor reaches in and grabs an egg and goes to hit Pee Wee with it. And it misses, and Pee Wee dodges, and it hits Dizzle right in the back of the head. So Dizzle's yelling. He's like, man, I just bought this car. What are you doing? And he's yelling back, he's turning around, the car's swerving everywhere. You know, everyone's yelling in the back, you know, punk this, punk that. He's like, you can't make a stupid cake. I'm just trying to turn up the music so I don't have to listen to this. And then all of a sudden, the mayor yells out of the back, like, watch out where you're going! Boom. We hit a guy. So all you hear is, is tires screeching, and it's like, boom, you know, this... This guy goes flying across the, the hood of the car, and I look up, and all I see is his birthday cake flying through the air, and in slow motion, this joker hits the front windshield, and it says, Happy Birthday, Anna, or something like that, and it just smears all over his front windshield. Well, now, I don't even think Dizzle cared that we just hit a guy. He's worried about his car. He has egg on the back of his head. He's still worried about, you know, getting on his new seats. He's got cake on the windshield, which it doesn't matter. You can just wash that off. And I'm just like, oh, my God, we just killed the guy. The yelling and stuff stops, and we, we realize, hey, we had a guy. So we get out of the car. We walk around, and the mayor's like, this guy's dead. And I look over at Dizzle, and he's looking at his windshield. He doesn't, doesn't even look down at the guy. And he's like, it's all over my windshield. And we're like, dude, the guy's on the ground. And Pee Wee's like, he's dead in a door now. Alright, so Dizzle's sitting there and he's like, what are we going to do with him? You know, he's, he's, I think he's still pissed off about his car. You know, and the mayor's like, you know, I don't want to go to jail. Let's just bury him, you know, and then we'll, just, we'll go make this cake. So we pick the guy up and we put him in the back of Ryan's truck. And we drive him out to this little spot we call the Blue Hole where no one ever goes out there. So there's no way they're going to find a body. So we go out there, you know, and it's like dead silence in the car except for some cheesy music that the Dizzle listens to. Then we get out, we get the guy, we go bury him, and like as this is going on, <laughs> Pee Wee's like, hey, we still got to make this cake. Yeah, all he's worried about is his little sister and his birthday cake. Meanwhile, it's probably like 12 o'clock at the time and the birthday party's over with. 
So we get back in the car. We go down the street a little bit, and I think uh, Dizzle's conscience starts playing in a little bit, and he starts feeling bad about this, the old man. And he's like, I bet this old man had a little sister he had to bake a cake for once, man. I kind of feel bad. You know, the whole time, like, yeah, I'd feel bad too if I just hit a guy. You know, but my hands are clean because I wasn't driving. Well, then Pee Wee butts in. He's like, like, hey, we still got half this cake that was on your windshield that I saved. So we really need to just touch it up, and we can just write Ashley's name on it. Problem solved. I'm thinking it's a good idea, because all I want to do is go out. You know, the mayor, by this time, isn't really care worried about the cake or anything right now, because he just wants to go home and be done with the night, because it's been a crazy night. And he's like, that's a good idea. Let's just go home, write Ashley's name on the cake, and y'all can get out of my house. And so we go, go back to the mayor's house, and we walk in. There's a lot of commotion going on in the kitchen there. We turn the corner, and there's the old man sitting there making a cake. Do you fellas need some cake? <laughs> hey.